Jacob, are you there? Damn it. Where is he? Contact with the native in the old sawmill. We've wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. I've got one casualty so far. Doing a sweep. Alone again. Jacob's gone ahead. There's something about him that I can't quite put my finger on. It's strange, but almost comforting. Like I could tell him anything, and it wouldn't faze him. I sense no judgment from him. Yet, at the same time, he's hard to read. My instincts tell me he's a good man. He saved my life. I think I can trust him. At least, for now. But I can't shake a nagging feeling that he knows more than he's letting on. Shoot. I'm with Jacob. He told us to wait for you, but these bastards found us first. Oh, God. Are you all right? I'll live. But I need a safe place to rest, in case the invaders return. There's a cave across the bridge over there. A wolf den. They won't look there. But I can't clear it out on my own. Not like this. If you could kill them, we'll have a safe place to regroup. I might even have something for that pistol of yours. Can you help us? Yes, of course. Stay out of sight. I'll be back. Thank you. Jacob was right about you. Do not let the target slip away. We need to know why they were following Bravo Team. Bravo hasn't run into any more resistance along the way. But find the native. We need to get some answers. Heads up! Incoming! Spread out. Your eyes open. There's someone here. If there's someone in here, it's safe. You can come out now. be hiding in here somewhere. Maybe there's a trail. Nothing. But definitely big enough to hide in. Blood. I hurt. Stop! No closer! I'm not with Trinity. My name is Lara, and your gun isn't loaded. I can see the cylinder is empty. The firing pin never worked anyway. You're hurt. I just need to sit down for a moment. Lara, was it? I'm Nadia. I could use your help. What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. 
I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up his trail. Oh, thank you. The path to the Vale is through the cave to the east of here. Cave? Is it safe? The cave is clear. If you head there now, you'll be safe. Thank you. Here, take this. Jacob told us to protect you, but you weren't the one who needed it. Help us then. What's the problem? I have warriors spread across this valley. Last night, two of my bravest were captured, and I have reason to believe they are still alive. There was a third with them who escaped, and he tells me they were taken beneath the train station. Saw them put into cages before he managed to escape. I have a dozen other warriors in the valley, and I have to stay here to coordinate their strikes. But you, I've seen what you can do and I must ask you to help. Yes. Yes, of course. Thank you. They knew the risks, and they would happily die for the cause. But I can't let that happen. We were fools. Careless, arrogant fools. We thought we could stop them, but the Red Army outnumbers us. Their weapons are superior, and they just keep coming. Many of my people, including myself, have been captured, forced to work the mines of our own mountain. It's only a matter of time before they discover our secret. When this happens, we must be ready.
She could be anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. All right, stay hidden and keep moving. We owe you our lives. It's a good thing you're on our side. Thank you. Your help is greatly appreciated. We know these lands, but there are fewer of us every season.
find them? I found your warriors. They're alive. I'm starting to think it's not an accident you came to our valley, Lara Croft. You know we cannot offer you much, but I hope this will aid you. here well worn <sighs> Laura I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed can you hear me loud and clear I can monitor the invader's frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. Tell me about the wicked veil, Nadia. My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the veil. 
But they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the Gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. The witch killed her, and he's never forgotten that. But a witch straight out of a Russian folktale? It sounds unlikely. Just be careful. Something is in the Vale. Nothing good happens in that place. I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. No need to go inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. A ceremonial cloth worn by priests during mass. Grandpa made it that far, at least. You're almost into the Vale. Nadia, I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. 
Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the Vale to kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley, armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the west, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in the big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth, to watch men and women work and starve and die, to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until I met her. Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here, but this looks like a big find. That discovery bonus is as good as ours. No, must be dreaming. Is it real? It can't be. Behind 
Hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There... There is a flower in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. <sighs> Any idea what this place is? I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. <clears throat> it has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help with her research, but... That was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer, who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things. Someone's been in here, recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit! Of course! She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. 
There's no magic here now, they're just someone very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. Maybe I can connect it to that rope spool. held my daughter. They took her from me on the surgeon's table. I tried to fight, but they are many, and I am weary. Then they dragged me away, split our three hearts apart. They have taken me to a hidden vale where ancient ruins stand. They tell me if I cooperate, I will see my family again. I will never trust these monsters, but I do not have a better plan. There are curious flowers here. Exposure to the pollen has left my captors rattled, and they will go no further than our little outpost. They brought me here in the hopes that my expertise in botany would help them find a counteragent. <laughs> At last, the state has a use for me. I nod and smile. I play the part. But they cannot break me again. For my daughter. For Ivan. I will live. It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Ivan and my daughter, to this strange vale. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant. The liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins. A phenothiazine derivative. The last ingredient is a risk. They have it in large quantities around the Gulag, where it is used as an insecticide. It may also act as a rudimentary antipsychotic, bearing a chemical similarity to other compounds I have studied. Or it may be poisonous. I will try the mixture on myself tonight. I found something. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her, and now she's going to help save Grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Laura. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. I went inside the wicked veil looking for Nadia's grandfather. I barely escaped with my life. It was like 
a fairy tale but through a broken, filthy mirror. And Dad, I know intellectually it was all in my mind, but the gunshot is still ringing in my ears. There's something terrible going on in there, and while I don't believe that it is magic, it is extraordinary. I have to find out what's behind all this, but first, I have to find a way to see clearly.